In this video, we're going to look at one of the ATC faults you might see on a Tormach machine, that is the ATC tray in fault. And we're going to demonstrate it on this 1100 MX behind me. Now you can see the same fault on any machine with an ATC installed. PCNC 770 and 1100 will differ a little bit, uh, but I'll talk about what those differences are. So I want to run a simulation of uh, what this error would look like if it happens to you. So what I've done in this case is I've turned down one of the flow control valves on our carousel cylinder so that when we command it to move, it's not actually able to do so. I'm going to hit go to tray load position. And you could hear the solenoid fire trying to move the ATC out and then after a few seconds it gave up because we timed out. And you can see on the right here under status that that has turned uh, yellow. So if we look at that now, you can see our alarm that came up, ATC device, trace sensor not detecting arrival. I do want to mention that uh, we have changed the wording of, of this alarm a few times uh, over the course of various updates to Pathpilot. So the exact wording may differ for you depending on which version you're on, uh, but the gist is the same for all wordings. So if we look at our ETC here, we'll see this little white dot above our rail. So this is our actual ATC tray in sensor on the M and MX machines, as well as the PCNC 440. On the PCNC 770 and 1100 machines, our sensor isn't mounted to our enclosure. It's actually uh, clamped around the cylinder. And in both cases for our PCNC 770s and the MMX in 440, uh, this sensor is a Hall effect sensor. So what is reading is a magnet. In this case, uh, for the M and MX's and the 440, one of our linear slides has a magnet embedded in it. And on the PCNC 770 and 1100, the magnet is inside the rod of the cylinder itself. So the most common reason that we're going to trigger our ATC tray in alarm is that when the cylinder is pushing the carousel to the end of its travel, the sensor is not in line with that magnet that's mounted either on our linear bearing on the MMX machines in 440 or on the uh, cylinder rod with the 770 and 1100. So we're going to look on our status page. We have our ATC tray in uh, section right here and we have a little indicator light right next to it. So when that sensor is on, then our indicator light will turn green. So what we can do is remove air from the machine and that will allow us to push the carousel back and forth by hand. And we're going to check if at any point in our travel is going slowly, we're going to watch our tray in indicator light and see if that ever does turn green. And in this case, on our machine, we do have the uh, carousel adjusted to the right spot. So when I go all the way to the end of the travel, our LED is on. But if we ever see that come on before the end of our travel, let's say we're a quarter of an inch away, then what we're gonna do is go to the nut at the end of our cylinder rod, and there's a jam nut and a coupling nut right here, and we're gonna break those loose, and then thread the nut uh, back onto the rod a little bit more until we're gonna push our carousel to the end of the travel and do see our APT train line. We can also uh, unscrew the coupling nut to give us a little bit more travel if we need to move uh, closer to our spindle with our entire carousel. So if we adjust our coupling nut and we don't ever see a point where the ATC tray and light sensor lights up, then we can check the sensor itself. So it is a Hall effect sensor, so you are going to need a magnet to put in front of it in order to check it. So you can try using just a standard mag base. I haven't had very much luck with them because they are somewhat large and uh, you are right next to the rail. So what works better is having just a small you know, dimming a magnet, you might have them on your fridge. But I'm just going to take this guy and drop it right in front of our sensor. It does want to move off a little bit. But I can see that our tray and light is coming on and then it goes back off when I remove the magnet. So if we put a magnet right in front of our sensor and our light doesn't come on, that's telling us the sensor itself has likely died and we just need to replace it. So if we never see our ATC tray and light turn on by moving our carousel by hand, 
but we do see our uh, sensor turn on when we put a magnet in front of it. It's possible that our issue is the magnet uh, that uh, goes with the carousel. So what I've done here is I've undone our screws that hold our cylinder mount plate to our linear rail and then pulled it back a couple of inches to expose our linear bearing. And you can see that we have our magnet embedded in the back side of the bearing here. So my magnet is sticking to it when I put it up to it. Our magnet is just epoxied into the back side of the bearing block, so it is possible that our magnet could have fallen out. Now that this is the setup on both the M and MX machines as well as the PC and C440. Though with the 440, you do have a smaller linear slide, so the components will differ a little bit, but the same general arrangement. I did mention that on the PC and C uh, 770 and 1100 that our sensor is on our cylinder itself, and that's because the magnet is embedded into the cylinder rod. And we have seen a time or two where the um, magnetized uh, part portion of the uh, piston has come uncoupled from the piston rod. Uh, so that is a possibility on the PCNC 770 and 1100 machines.